Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Mini at True Net, and welcome to Fear Effect Sedna. Now, Fear Effect is a really fascinating franchise, and a franchise I think doesn't quite get the love it deserves, because it deserves to be remembered as an important part of video game history. And yet, when people talk about significant games from the past, it very, very rarely makes an appearance, which is very, very sad indeed. In case you missed it, and quite a few people did, it wasn't a massive game to be honest. The original Fear Effect was basically a Resident Evil style game, vaguely horror y monsters and blood fixed camera angles, tank controls, all of that good stuff. Except to my mind, it actually did the original Resident Evil stuff better than some of the original Resident Evil games did. See, the trick it pulled is the backgrounds were all actually looped full motion video, whereas the characters that were moving over the top of them were some of the earliest instances of cell shading in a game. So it actually looked, yeah, surprisingly good these days. Not great, obviously, it is still two decades old, there's only so much you can do. But go back and look at the footage of the original Fear Effect. For a two decade old game, it holds up surprisingly well. And the other thing of historical note about Fear Effect was the two main female characters, Hannah and Rain, were both overtly bisexual and dating each other in the second game. Now that isn't by itself the interesting thing. The interesting thing is, for neither of them, was it a core part of their personality, something that came up in the plot, or something that was really ever commented upon by any other character. It wasn't a big deal. They were just two female characters that happened to be into each other. That was something that not really many games had ever really done up to that point. You wouldn't know it from the marketing, however, because when the game was marketed, aggressively they pushed the, oh, it's two women, and they're in underwear, and they're going to straddle each other and les out on screen. You better buy this game if you want to see lesbians lesing at each other. And that actually wasn't a thing that was in the game at all. So a bit of a poor show by the publisher, kind of spoiled what should have been quite an interesting moment in gaming history, but never mind, eh? Still, this is the new one. Fear Effect's been gone for quite some time, but now it's back. This is Fear Effect Sedna. It's kind of undergone a couple of interesting transitions, like it's no longer a horror third-person fixed camera thing, now it's become a tactical isometric top-down shooter, which is certainly an interesting direction for the franchise to go at this point. However, on the other hand, if you watch the Steam trailer, within the first four seconds of gameplay appearing, Hannah and Rain step out onto a rooftop and start snogging each other, because they had to bring attention to that immediately. So, two steps forward, one step back. And here we are in new Fear Effect. Ooh, it's nice to see they've decided to actually keep the actual cell shading Hello? going on. Excuse me. I was waiting for someone and... Ah, there she is. And it's also nice to know they've kept in the murder. If they're all morons like this one, we should be home for dinner. The target will be in the back room. Surrounded by his fellow creatures. They're all for show. Hmm, I'm not sure what we're actually here for, by the way. We're just here for a target. Marvellous. Well, I guess we better go and take care of that then. So yes, this is Hannah and Rain. Lovely to see them back again. Stealth. Enter sneaky mode. Noise visibility. Fine, there's a little there's bit of a someone. stealth aspect it's too. Alive. So we'll just sneak I'll around here. And uh, Rain. No, Rain, we're sneaking. Rain, did you not get the memo? We're sneaking right now. Sneaking. And I said, ooh. Okay, so he's not got proper visibility or aim or whatever if I were behind crates, so there's a cover system. Gotcha. Also, we'll just stab that guy right now. Marvellous. And then just keep going through. And surprise cell shaded cutscene. And now murder, 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 murder. I'm supposed to be apparently taking cover. I could do that, or I could just basically start shooting these guys and getting around. Yeah, you know what? It feels like potentially just rolling around the back of them if they take cover is a better option than taking cover myself. Marvellous. So, I'm trapped in a room for the time being. Better go over to Rain in that case as Rain can probably get me out of here. Marvellous. So, what have I got here? Gun. Something that's not a gun. And some health kits. Don't need any of that. Move straight through here. And we've got ourselves skills. Skills are unique for each character. Unlike regular weapons. Limited ammunition. Okay. Well, let's just actually get out my taser. taser. Got it. So, taser. And then, no, taser. Taser. Ta taser. There we go. That's a... T okay, well, that didn't work desperately well, to oh, be honest. Shit. And just indeed, the fear system is back. The fear system was interesting because you didn't actually have, like, a proper health bar, or traditional health bar, at least, in the original games. You had a fear meter, hence fear effect. So, like, all sorts of things other than just slapping a first aid kit into a wound were actually good at healing you. Like, you know, if you solved puzzles or whatever, then logically your fear would go down because you calmed down a bit. Marvellous. In that case, ah, higher my fear, I do more damage, but lower my resistance. 
intriguing, and stressful events will make it go up too. Med kits makes it go down. Puzzles might still make it go down, I'm not sure. Still, I've done myself a med kit there, everything's fine for the time being. <laughs> might take a little bit of figuring out how all this works for the moment. Loop around the outside. That looks like a med kit right there. Yep. I'll be having one of those. Thank you. And round to a door. We just need to push the button at the same time. Ah, nice simple button pushing puzzle. Lovely. So, push button. Flick back to original character. Push button. And doors open. Lovely. So wait for me here. And let's go. Marvellous. So I can tell her to either fall back or stay with me. Marvellous. And we've got ourselves, aha, more stuff. That is batteries for rain. Bouncing bullets for Hannah. You have magic bouncing bullets. Okay, that does sound kind of cool. Yes. So, tactics. Tactical pause, and then time is frozen. Plan the action of characters more strategically. Give them orders by controlling them just like in active mode. Cancel them by pressing LT. And then all the orders will be validated when you go into active mode. Okay. And when you want to take back direct control, simply move. Synergies are combinations of two skills of two different characters. So to create synergy, use two compatible skills at the same time. It will create a powerful attack. So I'm guessing if I were to stun someone with the stun gun and then shoot them with regular bullets, that would probably be good. So you get over to here and then, ah, you go over to here meanwhile. So I want you to move over to here. So that is a move where she's just going to get into cover. You meanwhile, ah, so every character can have three actual moves. If I move you round to this part... Can I then also say, after you take cover, you take a shot, henchman, shoot. Yeah, okay. So I've literally given her the order to move to cover, move to new cover, and then shoot that guy. Go back over to you, meanwhile. You can just basically come round to here and be in cover here. And then I want you to attack... Ooh, that is apparently a named person. Right, so probably we hit that person with a stun. So now, are you guys gonna do all those actions for me? So forward, forward and shooty shoot, shooty shoot and, okay, you're creeping. This has not worked out. <laughs> right, this has not worked out in the cocking slightest. Uh, possibly because you shouldn't have been in stealthy mode this entire time, no. Still, let's see if we can figure this out. So, you, having stunned this guy, that's probably a good idea. So how about with your normal gun, you shoot him. Then you shoot this guy as well. Meanwhile, back over to you. <laughs> Everyone basically just start shooting like henchmen with guns. Okay, so now guns, 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 guns. And no one is... Hang on, we, we're both still alive. You know what? Let's try that again. So, Hannah runs forward and, yeah, just basically get you into cover right there. Your move will also be to run into cover right here. After that point, I probably want you to actually shoot someone with your stun gun, except apparently we're not in range. So, let's just let everyone take up their positions and get into cover. Okay. So now we can see everyone, but everyone can't see us. Not just yet. So now, are we actually capable of taking some shots at these people? Yes, now we're actually in range to take some shots. So let's start with you, because you've now got the stun gun. And who is in a hat? Right. So we've got Jia Li, who I'm assuming is more dangerous, because you're actually marked as like a named character. So, hit that guy with a stun gun. After that point, probably go over to your regular weapon and... Can you hit that guy up there? And Oh, no, 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 I don't need to do that. Back off. So let's just quickly redo that. You, stun gun for that guy. And then, double bullets for this person. And if you can hit that person... Yeah, I think we're hitting that person over there. Right, go back over to you meanwhile. I'd like you to potentially... Actually, you can probably just do all these things manually. I may as well take, like, one shot at you for free, and then I'll just manually control you. So, take a shot over there, and take a shot over to... Are we hitting you? Yeah, the problem is... Oh, yeah, we're definitely hitting you, because you've got a red thing at the bottom. But, yeah, it's kind of uh, difficult to see when the cursor's on them. And then another shot there. 
fine. So you guys basically take all those options and now just basically take you out and then take you out and then take you out and now we just basically focus fire on this guy. I get round the back of him, just roll and everyone's We're dead. Done. Right, that's much better. So, we've killed Jia Li, who I'm assuming was the target, so he's all dead at this point, but... Hello? Uh, I found the tough job. What's that? It's a booby-trapped cargo. Shit, how do we defuse it? Okay, a puzzle. There will be puzzles throughout the game. And I like how the hint is there. Yeah, by the way, don't let Hannah do the puzzles. She's more about the murder. Maybe leave the puzzles to Rain. All right, well, in that case, I'm very happy to do that. We will let Rain do the puzzle, damn it. So, let's go see a puzzle. And we've got ourselves... Hang on. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Hmm. So... If I had to guess, like, pull them out by the light in the order of the beeping, right? Okay, that's good. Yes, that's also good. Yeah, there we are. Okay, that wasn't the solution. Aha, we've got a thing here reading green two three. So, green, hang on. Green to the wires. The wires have something written on them. So green to three. That's a tick. But it's not enough. Okay. Two. Right. That's another tick. So hang on. So two, three. Now I've got two ticks. Then what do you want me to do other than. Not that apparently. No. Ah, I've just nipped back here. We have got ourselves more posters. So red, three, one. So we know this, two, three. And then we got this one kind of by fluke. I assume there's a blue poster somewhere. That's two. And then red, three, one. Well done. Cargo is saved and competitors are ruled out. Enough for today. Let's go home. Alright, job done. Nice little tutorial. We should buy a rooftop, Flad. But we wouldn't take the lift anymore. Good point. That, by the way, is a reference to the second game where they made out in a lift in order to distract some male guards who were watching on a security camera. But apparently that's now become a character point. Hannah just gets hot in lifts. You don't like it anymore? Too long in one place gets me. You know. Places. Okay. What about people? Like weapons and clothes. Once I find something I like, I stick with it. Yes, indeed. Apparently, lifts just make Hannah slightly hot and bothered. Back in our apartment, it would appear somebody is inside. Right, search the flat. No, no, this is just the hallway. So, this is where me and Rain live. I'm going. Watch my back. Okay, we'll probably go into I'll sneaky follow. mode. And... That's a person over there. Hang on, stick this side of the... Ho Ooh, hollow fish tank. I like the hollow fish tank. That's very cool. Hello! You have 30 seconds before I shoot you down. Then to the point. I'm here to offer you a mission. A very well-paid mission, I might add. We don't take missions from people infiltrating our home. Let me introduce it. Choice is yours. 30 more seconds. Here's the target. Loves antiques. He owns a statuette that we would really love to have. I've left my number and your number on the tablet. Please consider one and then contact the other. We should ask for support. Who were you thinking about? Deke. We haven't worked together for a while, but I'm sure he'll be in for this mission. Anyway, he always needs money. A trip to Paris with you and Deke. How romantic. So let's sum everything up again. Rain and I will access the embassy via the rooftop. Deke will be introduced as a servant. Obviously my resume was perfect for this mission. You'll look amazing with an apron, as usual. Rain, you'll have to get rid of security drones before I climb. 
I already have everything I need to know about their system. I'll be quick. You'll cover us from the roof, and I'll get into the offices. Deke, you'll gather as much information as possible from guests and hosts. We'll stay in contact and join when we're sure where the statuette is. I'll bring your weapons. Pity we couldn't find where it is now. I'm sure you don't want to miss the party. True, French girls. Don't even look at her better half. Once I have the statuette, everything will move quickly. We will go out from the south offices so Rain can focus on our target. All the rooms for the party are on this side. There's no way the ambassador can escape from your sight. If something goes wrong, I'll deal with it. Not on your lonesome, Sheila. Dealing with problems is why I get out of bed in the morning. And it brings in the money. So, we got everyone with their own unique jobs, which is kind of cool. We've got Rain up here on the roof, and yeah, while you are in cover, or creeping, you get to see people's line of sight and whatnot. So we can start learning the guards' routines and see if we can take them out nice and quiet. Because it looks like the routines do not overlap, which is just lovely. And I think, in a moment, we can actually get you around to here, assuming we can actually get there in time, which I might not be able to... Okay, just in the nick of time there. Let's just quickly grab a... No, we couldn't grab a body, but we could grab a med kit. Okay, luckily, line of sight means, yeah, they can't really see anything to the side of them, which works for me. And that means I can basically head over here and get in cover on this spot. Because this guy should not be able to see a thing. And then as soon as he turns around, I can take him out. I could just go in all guns blazing. But I feel like Rain isn't really the all guns blazing sort of girl, to be honest. So let's just quickly get around here. And stop. And stab. And search. And move straight on. Lovely. So we got one guy up there. Now what's your deal, my good man? Do you actually come... Yeah, you come down on occasion. Okay, and actually, I think that might be a woman on this occasion, so go, 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 and stab, and done. Marvellous. So, over here, I'm assuming this is the office I was after all along, in totally silent, no health loss. I'll connect my device. It'll be quick. I'm assuming we've got Let no one know, else yet. Way. Nope, we've got no one else at the minute. One device here. And now we've got, ooh, now we've got puzzles. Right, so basically I've just got to match the things. So, hang on, let's start off with the the easiest shapes here, which is going to be a, a triangle. Now, I'm pretty sure the triangle is um, this this one that's like, that's a bit like this. Oh, blimey, this, this is going to be interesting because it can be all sorts of, no, 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 squeeze it in. Okay, this feels about right. This feels about right. Just a bit bigger, and then just a bit more. There we go. Good. The triangle's now in position. Right, so with that out the way, we can work on... This one looks nice and simple. That's just got to be straight in the middle. So just kind of like, yeah, like this, but much, much, much bigger and much, much wider. That should be nice and simple. Expand that outwards there. That's right. Yep, yeah, lovely. Uh, next, turn on the... This one. Where's this one? Okay, I'm not sure. Turn on this one then, because this one now seems a bit easier. And then a bit taller too. There we go. Done. Drone's out. You can go inside. Okay, security taken care of. Meanwhile, in the deke filtration part of the mission, so my job is to eavesdrop on conversations. Okay, find important conversations. If ear becomes green, it's good. Red, it wasn't. In order to stay discreet, you have to actually serve guests with red exclamation points. Otherwise, of course, people will realise you're not doing a particularly good job as a waiter. This is good. This is a nice little detail. Whenever you serve a guest, then as a result, yeah, the suspicion meter will go down. Lovely. Okay. Let's go and listen to some people. And listening in. And no, that wasn't useful. And I give that guy a drink. And I've still got some drinks. Let's just keep going around here. Listening into groups of important people. 
Here we go. Here, have a drink, my good man, and I'll just listen to your conversation at the same time. No, wasn't useful. Okay, over here. You want some champagne? Here you... Here you... Here you go! How much champagne? Oh, I've only got two left. Okay, got to keep an eye on that. And you want some... You know what? I'll ignore you for the time being. Apparently those people are not interested. Give you a drink, and... That's not interesting. And... Do I need to give you a drink? Give you a drink as well. You don't have anything interesting to say. Now I can listen to this quickly. What do we have? Ah, do you think the ambassador would lend some of these pieces? That might have been useful. Oh, but hang on. Hang on. Uh-oh. 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 I should have stocked up on the champagne earlier. Okay, but there's people close to the table. So get over here. 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 Grab, grab some champagne. Yep, grab the champagne. Now come on quickly, 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 quickly. Give it to this person over here. Done. I'm about to be shot. That is really, really harsh. Oh, hello. We just actually had some green information over there. Uh, and I actually need to look for the information because it doesn't actually update me. Uh, okay, never until age tart. Outdated. Modern world is so promising. That's not useful. Right. Give that guy a drink. Top up this at the same time. Just quickly listening to you. Watch for the text showing up. Not useful. And listen to you as well. Okay, so many ancient pieces of art. Could be in museums. Well, supposedly that was useful. I'm not sure how that was useful, but apparently it was. Give you a drink. And just listen in as well. Look at the chief of security. So eye-catching looks dangerous. Only focused on the ambassador. Okay. May or may not be useful here. And we've got ourselves... Can I actually... I can't rough. Which is, you know, understandable, really. I am a waiter. Give you a drink. Listen in, potentially. And... Nothing there. You know what? I'll give you a drink as well. Now, my meat is nice and full for the time being. Top up my drinks tally before I head over to that side of the room. Keep listening in. Pass you a drink. Head around here. Pass you a drink. And... I've got plenty of... Oh! Remind me to ask who built the door protecting his private collection. It's quite complex and looks solid. Okay. Could be of use. Uh, don't need to rush over to you yet. Uh, huge server room was that. Okay. Head over here. Keep listening in. The news about the embassy hired brand new security services. Probably because of all the art in here. Okay, brand new security services. Head over here, and if you don't have anything to say, I'm going to head back over to the drinks table just to top up my supplies. And you can actually have a drink on the way as well. Marvellous. So now I've got... I probably shouldn't... Actually, no, no, no. We've got a person down there we can give a drink to. So that's fine. Got plenty of time here. Just grab all of the drinks. Now I've got drinks. Here, have a drink. There you go. Lovely. You are going to have a drink too. You're still not saying anything interesting though. Fine. It must be the person at the top of the room that's left now. Let's just quickly top up these supplies. And I think the other waiters are also actually giving people drinks. Which doesn't help. Right. Give you a drink. And now I'm going to head up to the top right of the room. I've got plenty of drinks. I should be okay for the time being. You look absolutely gorgeous, my dear. What's the name of your sorcerer? That strikes me as not useful. Come over here. Give you a drink. Now the meat is okay for the time being. And taking a lift up to old ages. What a marvellous idea, even if the collection room is pretty boring. And I think I got the information hey, I needed. I got something for you. Tell me. The room's five floors above the reception room. So right before the roof. Lots of stuff, lots of guards. Mention the security room near it too. And a big fancy protecting door. Got it. I'll have to follow a group. Anything else? Yeah, heard about server machines. Great. I have something to feed them. Cheers, yeah. I'll see you at the top. So, the infiltration by Deke done. Probably moving over to Hannah for the third part of the mission. This is cool. I like a multi-stage mission. That's always fun. Let's go into sneaky mode. Stay hidden, and that way I can see everyone's line of sight, vision cones, all of that good stuff. So sneak around here. Don't murder anyone yet. There's security, and there's a group. So I just need to sneak behind them without being... No, no, without being seen. There we go. Use the... Oh! Use cover. 
Okay, so they're just looking at that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Turn. There we go. Turn away. Turn away. Turn away. No. No. Go, stay hidden, please. Thank you. Right, you. Stay hidden back here. And now just follow these guys around here. Gotta be. Gotta be careful. Oh. Oh, where are you going? Okay, you. You can be here. This okay for now? Yeah, you're turning away. I could just take out some of the security. And I've got to keep following the group as well. This is fine. I should presumably... Yeah, so I'm hidden back here. That simple means I'm nice and hidden. For the time being, I should be far enough back. Those guys wouldn't see me anyway, because everyone has terrible, terrible short sight. Uh, is this cover? This is good enough cover. Fine, stay up here. And you don't see me, because I'm hiding behind a table. Marvellous. So, just let that person... Turn away in a minute. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, and now just move on. Presumably I can hide behind this thing. That should work, right? You don't turn this way, do you? Oh, no, you are just outside sight range. Right, stay here. There we go. Everything's under... Uh-oh. Everything was under control until this happened. But then you decided to presumably naff back into security room, right? Yeah, also, oh, hang on. Where'd the group go? I've lost the cocking group. Oh. What's the matter? Door closed right after the ambassador. I can't follow him. Any alternative route? Deke mentioned server machines. That could help. Hmm, possibly I just slightly fluffed it there. If I'd have been close enough, maybe I could have got in. Okay. So, got to use these here servers help me out now. Gotcha. So, let's just check we actually know all the routes for all the guards here, because I probably don't want to kill people inside that room. That's the room they all go in and out of. I probably want to kill them out here by the exhibits. Because then, probably no one else sees. I'm pretty sure no one else comes over here. So if you just want to basically face the other way in a second, then I'll just get you as you turn around. And... Dead. Okay. Right now, move away just in case that's about to be seen, but I don't think it is. Because I need to now cut through here to get to the next area. Or I could just turn this into a big blasty shooty. Anytime I wanted to, we could just start blasting. Alright, I've got twin guns and 16 ammo and diddly diddly ooh. But let's do this carefully if we can. I like treating it like it's a stealth game. Though if it all goes tits up, I will probably at that point just go into shooty shooty everything shooty. Right, stab. That'd just be flipping perfect. Quick stab. And you just stay still. And one for you as well. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Well, this has all gone marvellously well so far. Uh-oh. Aside from this bit. Aside from... Okay, apparently he just didn't like her. And quick as you like. Yep, he just didn't like her very much. Okay, so, access to the server room. Unfortunately, I suspect this is now going to be a puzzle. I need to steal the statuette, and I need to figure out the password. Alright, um, some servers are marked in green, some are marked in red. Which the ones marked in red? Two and five, and that's it. So it's one to eight, two and five are marked in red. Let's just have a little quick look at this computer because I suspect the colour of the servers is now about to be relevant to me. So here we go. Yes indeed. Server status. Safe door has been manually locked. Enter a code. Okay, I'm not seeing anything in the level. I'm just going to enter one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, sorry, it's, it's six. I need to be able to count. That's that's a key bit of this mission. I'm going to enter one, two, three, four, five, six to see what happens next. Because we do actually well. Hang on. We have six numbers and six servers activated. Well, this is worth a go at least. And the answer is... No. That was definitely not the answer. Instead, what we've got here is... Hang on, it says... Boot priority CE... Okay, what are we seeing there? We're seeing at the top, servers being online or not. C-E-A, online, G, not online. If I had to guess, then what it's saying is those servers over on the left, the ones that are over here, that's marked as, like, the first, the second, then the third. 
So it wants me to do something to do with boot priority C, A, then E, and then B, F, H. But how do I know what corresponds to what here? Because all I've got out here are numbers. I need to convert those letters into numbers, which I could just do with, you know, the order and the alphabet. That's possible, I suppose. Yeah, let's just work under that assumption. So let's say that C corresponds to 3. Okay, and then I just need to figure out, yeah, the rest of them, because it's got to be corresponding to the servers. So then 2 is A, which is 1, and then E represents 5. Okay, this is number of attempts. I didn't actually enter an attempt previously, but okay, what have you. And then B represents two, right. And then what are the other two? F and then H. So this might be the case. And if it's not, apparently I might be screwed. Uh-oh. I'm very screwed as it turns out. And now everyone's going to shoot me immediately. And now I'm very dead. Okay, hang on. Does the order correspond? Because if the order corresponds, the order corresponds. Because look, it's it's bottom left here and then top left up there. So okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, counting in rows down. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I need to enter the boot order in the correct order. So A is in fact, yeah, so A is 4, because that's A, and then B over here is 8. We know about that, and then I need to figure out where C is. C is, hang on, where is C? C is over here, that corresponds to 1. Now D there corresponds to 5, and then which is boot F? Boot F would therefore be uh, 7. That was wrong. Right. Except I have to... Ah, I have to obviously skip the ones that are marked in red because they can't be utilised because they're offline. Okay, now this should be right. Oh, yes. Nice. I see you moving. Doors opened? It should be fine. Well done. I'm done playing games. Back to business. All right, so now I'm through all the doors, and possibly I could have just snuck in. Oh, uh-oh. This isn't good. Anna, what's hell? Axel, it's been a long time. But... Don't even... <laughs> Shit, what's wrong here? There are just too many. And everyone's after the same Jeez. bloody trophy. Your Excellency, don't! Uh, no! And now all of a sudden, uh oh, right, okay. You started moving, which was a stupid idea, quite frankly. You shouldn't have done that. Because now all of a sudden, everyone's shooting at you. Now, what are your abilities, by the way? You've got yourself a. Ooh! You've got yourself a crossbow. Very, very nice indeed. Ah, now this is interesting. So this thing fires in a straight line and might actually be able to, in theory, hit multiple people. So that there's your job and hopefully that'll kill all the people. If not, we'll figure it out soon enough. Right, meanwhile, while you're doing that, you should probably start moving and then get round the back over here. Except you, you shouldn't actually do it like, okay, cancel that. Okay, and then you should basically run over here and then start shooting people. Yep, so run and then shoot. So let's just see how that goes. Uh, screw it, go, 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 go. He, he runs around then. Okay, so basically I've fluffed absolutely all of that up and now everyone's going to die and, and it's all right. Also I'm on fire. Apparently I'm on fire. Well, we survived. Right, probably best at this time we just basically get on with murdering everybody, right? Can we just get outside here? Yeah, now we can just get outside here. So maybe now the sneaking is over and we just start shooting you bastards. So, admittedly, that's... Apparently I'm not that good at fighting. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Maybe you need to be a little bit more tactical than that, yes. Also, are you okay, by the way? You fine? You're more or less fine. Right, let's use the crossbow. The crossbow seems good. We should probably use that more. Hello, I'm going to shoot you with a crossbow now, and... 
Okay, the implication I got was that was going to do really well. Then it didn't. So basically, you're very flimsy in this game. Okay, plan. Let's actually properly get behind these people and take them out as best we can. Because doing that before we actually get into a proper big firefight strikes me as a good idea. You're going to turn around in a second. And that will be very, very useful indeed for when you do. I can just cut the corner here. You now basically get around here and... Oh, dear. Okay, now, now it all goes... To... <laughs> that plan didn't work. Okay, let's just draw their attention with some bullets and then just catch them in, like, shared fire over here. And basically just say, screw you, and then screw you, and screw you, and then screw you, and then do a roll, and then continue doing a roll, and then hopefully this guy can win by himself. That worked surprisingly well, actually, yes. Just standing at the edge and firing into them. Fine, there's probably a layer of tactics and using pause and all of that that I'm not doing yet, but screw it. Let's just give everyone a bit of a quick health top up. I feel like both of you could just do with a little bit more health there. And hopefully we can actually get some good health kits off all of you lads. So yeah, run, gun, grab health kits, heal up as you go. I think you're just basically supposed to take damage as you go along. Use your special limited ammo, like, fairly happily, to be honest. Because it's better to, like, you know, use it to be not dead than not use it then die, which happens a lot. And boom! And I think I just hit that. Right, wait for that to come off cooldown. And now take you out in a minute and go. Did that actually, I don't know if that, uh oh, back off, back off, back off. Okay, you need to back off and let Hannah take the strain for the time being. And now just basically, well, Hannah can finish you off. That's fine. Right, back to you. You'll get up in a second. And when you get back up again, you can have yourself a health kit. Yeah. Everyone just keep popping the health pills, all right? Everything's fine. Uh, yeah, and actually, I, what I could actually give orders to the other person... It also kind of feels like, you know, the computer's very good at just shooting anything it sees anyway, so it's probably fine. Uh, so, let's just actually have you run forward to here, and then fire at... No, that's Rain! Don't shoot her, that's my girlfriend! Oh, flip, now I've got three Easy people to manage. Run, to the shuttle! Also, um, don't we want to, like, pick up Deke first? Because he was totally working with us, but apparently now we're just not working with that guy. Marvellous. Okay, and there's probably going to be more security yet then, including all those drones you said you hacked. Oh, and now just start shooting all of those guys and now get you into cover while you're being shot. Then we just concentrate fire and life is good and pick up a thing. And that's batteries and bouncing bullets and crossbow bolts. Everyone just, ah, that's why you want to go into pause because then you can force everyone to use their special abilities. By default, they don't. But in pause, you can line up shots with the more powerful stuff. Aha. I see, I see, I see. Okay, I'm going to make this work. So, you, my good man, are going to run to here as your first action. And then I want you to shoot this security guard a few times. Lovely. Meanwhile, at the same time, I want you to be running in this direction. And then basically take cover over here and then shoot at anything you can. Meanwhile, while you're doing that, I will directly control rain over here. And then everything will be fine. So just get over here. And then just hit this person. And hit them with the stun. And then shoot them. And there we go. That there is a good result. Marvellous. That's how you use it. Ah, there's Deke. Apparently he's the driver. Marvellous. So now we just jump in. In our fancy cat suits and tuxedos. And be on our way. Though we didn't actually get the statue. We did kill... Actually, we didn't even kill the guy either. Like, basically, we failed on every front. Do we have a guest? Let's see. What's your offer? You have the statuette. I have information. So how much do you pay? The unofficial but well-paid French government's gratefulness. Plus price of your original mission. Double. Triple. What she said. And additional travel costs. Meaning? Where's your track leading us to? Far away. North. I lost contact with one of my informers in Nuke. Nook? Greenland? Ah, oh, I don't do good in the cold. You don't do good anywhere. True words, my love. Do we have a deal? Up to you, but money. We have a deal. We follow the track, we grab the statuette, and we clear off. No more. And here we are in Greenland in a museum where we're now challenged to, yeah, find a way to access the lower floor. Including, I'm access guessing... Is restricted. 
Yeah, can't get down there myself. Gonna need to find a sneaky way in, because right now the camera is watching that area marvellous. Be honest, and gentlemen, I think you get the point. This here is Fear Effect Sedna. Yes, it's a completely different game. A very different game. Totally uh, changed from what it used to be. So if you're just nostalgic for the old ones, this might not necessarily always be for you. Because they've totally changed the genre and everything about it. It feels very different in multiple ways as well. It feels like the tone's a little bit different from the older games. Still, we do have the first hints as to where the plot's going. Because there's always a kind of a supernatural paranormal element to this sort of thing. Got a mention here of an emergency call from a woman. Saw someone at the back of her house. Reindeer footprints in the snow. Probably one individual. Woman was sure it was standing on two feet. Described someone about ten feet high. So we've got giant reindeer monsters. <laughs> Bloody hell, Rudolph. And also over here, we've got the first mention of Sedna. Not a goddess in the strictest sense of the term. Spirit of the sea and all marine creatures. So I'm going to guess, yes, we've got some form of giant sea monstrosities to fight sooner or later. And my next mission, to hit a fire alarm without being seen. So we've got over here ways of raising and lowering archives. That should block your line of sight. And then simply wait for... Oh, obviously you picked this exact moment to come over here, did you? How about you go over there? Is there we the go. And there's the fire alarm. Run! Everyone decides to run out. And I Let's can now run! simply head through the doors over here. Hang on, there must be a must be a thing here, right? That's a... No, that's a map. But this here button. There we go. Got myself a key. And with a key card, presumably, I can just sneak on my way. For me, it's a bit of a mixed bag, I'll admit. The puzzles I like. I like the fact that puzzles actually require some thought and observation and looking around. That server room puzzle was actually pretty good. I enjoyed that. I thought that was a fun little interesting way of doing things. It actually required me to have a think about some stuff. The stealth also works just fine, even if it's a tiny bit basic and just kind of based around line of sight. The combat, to me, is where it doesn't quite work so well. Possibly with some practice it would work fine, but it just kind of feels like doing the cheapest way is actually better than kind of carefully laying people out by pausing and then using all the special abilities. Like literally on the roof, just basically hanging back, shooting the first person and let them walk into the combined fire of me and Axel just seemed to work much better than trying to sneak around and throw everyone around and use the crossbow and diddly diddly dee. It just kind of feels like actually, yeah, just keeping your three characters together and concentrating your basic guns on anyone seems to work a lot better. I'm sure that won't be the case when we get into like tougher enemies where you absolutely you have to combo them, like hitting a particularly tough enemy with a stun at the same time as you get the rest of the team around the back of them and shoot them in a designated weak spot with the special ability and diddly diddly d. But yeah, for me, this is a bit of a mixed bag. I think we'll leave things off here. Still, might well be for some of you, if you absolutely love your isometric shoots, then yeah, this might well be for you. Because if you can actually get your head around the combat and you enjoy that sort of thing, then I'd say the stealth and the puzzles are pretty nice indeed. Still, I'm sure we'll have more isometric shooters in future. I do sometimes have a bit of a hankering for them. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fear Effect, Sedna. Thank you very much, and goodbye. We've all learnt a valuable lesson here. When people have the zombie plague, don't allow them into confined spaces with you. We should just actually, like, use cannons. Do we have cannons? Use the cannons. Oh, they've got a big hammer. That's what the noise is. And a pirate's just rammed them. Okay, I think we're, we're in a traffic jam on the sea.